get it. Text a message, I don't know the number. Flexing on these niggas, every bone and muscle. Steady taking shots from never hurting them. Even then, y'all don't worry nothing. And I'd like to give a shout out What's to up, my guys? Niggas. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between Honda and K Tuner as a tuning option for tuning your Hondas or Acuras and which one I think is better in a couple different categories. So I'll be able to give you guys an inside scoop from a tuner's perspective um, of some, some different elements that are gonna make one thing better than the other and then you guys can kind of weigh the options by yourself and determine which one's gonna be a better choice. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can stay in tune for my new uploads. I do upload weekly. Also make sure you drop a like on this video so we can spread this message to more people. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. That way you can get all my new updates. I'm always posting to my stories and everything constantly. And I do post a couple times a week as well. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the hardware between the two. Um, depending on what kind of car you have, there's gonna be three different options for each of them. Starting off with Honda, the first thing is gonna be Honda S300. This is for your OBD1 vehicles that requires a chip in the ECU. The next option is for the RSX platform. If you're using an RSX Type S ECU for like a K swap or anything like that, or if you have an RSX, then you're gonna use K Pro. That's also another in ECU chip you're gonna have to have someone put in there for you. Or if you have a newer OBD2 vehicle um, that can support Honda Flash Pro, um, such as most cars 2006 and up, um, including the Civic SIs, the uh, Type Rs, all that stuff, all the new turbo Hondas too use it. So Honda Flash Pro is what I use for my vehicle and it's pretty easy to use, it's pretty user friendly and it does not require an NECU chip, it just plugs right into the OBD2 port and you're able to flash all your tunes through that. And then for K-Tuner, there's a K-Tuner NECU chip um, that's used for the older OBD1 vehicles, that's kind of similar to Honda S300. And then you have K-Tuner V1 flash which is just an OBD, uh, OBD2 dongle that you plug in and you can flash your tunes through that. That's pretty similar to Honda to Flash Pro for the new OBD2 vehicles. Um, and then there's also K-Tuner V2, which includes a touch tablet. So that is pretty much like, if you're familiar with a Cobb access port that a lot of the Subaru guys run, it's actually a tablet you can mount on your dash. That plugs into the OBD2 port. You can put whatever gauges you want on there. You can see all of that. It's pretty nice. Um, as far as the hardware aspect, I'm probably gonna have to give this category to K-Tuner uh, just because the only thing Honda offers for like being able to see gauges is if you have a newer Honda Flash Pro, and I believe with K-Pro you can do it too. Um, there is a Bluetooth that you can put on your phone with an app, and then you can pull up on your phone or your tablet, um, and then you can see your gauges that way but it doesn't actually come with its own like standalone tablet like the K-Tuner does. Um, so for hardware, I'm gonna have to give it to K-Tuner. For the next category, I'm gonna talk about the base maps and whether the K-Tuner base maps or the Honda base maps are better or safer. So both K-Tuner and Honda test their software out on multiple cars with different mod setups, and then they'll make a base map for that and then program that onto the software. That way, when you go to flash your car, um, starting out, you can choose a base map to start off with and it'll be kind of similar to what your car is going to need but after looking at those base maps with my experience um, those are really not a great option for you regardless but i'll still compare which ones i think are better i noticed on a lot of the cars that i tune with k-tuner base maps the air fuel ratios are a lot richer than they should be um, this is just kind of a generalized idea it might not be on your car but a lot of the times when you floor the car and it goes into open loop where the ecu isn't making connections um, it pulls straight from the fuel table, but the fuel table doesn't have enough fuel, um, especially if you have more mods than the base map you're running. So pretty much when you run lean, it's definitely gonna damage your engine over time and cause you some serious problems down the road, especially if you do it for a long period of time. So the K-Tuner base maps are really not the safest. They're probably gonna be okay to get you by if you want a little bit of power for a couple weeks maybe, but I really wouldn't recommend running them for a long period of time. And the Honda base maps run a little bit rich. So running richer is safer, but to be honest, you're just wasting gas and you're not gonna be making the most power when you're wasting all that fuel. So to be honest, I would probably have to give it to Honda on the base maps just because they are a little safer than the K-Tuner base maps. But either way, every car is gonna require custom tuning to get everything perfectly safe. 
The third area we're going to compare is the tunability of each software. Um, K-Tuner requires you to be either with the car, plugged into the car on the laptop with the customer. Or what I usually do, since I do most of my tunes remotely all over the country and all over the world really, is I'll use TeamViewer to take over the laptop and then I tune the car, but I have to tune it all at once, all in one go, um, which kind of has its downfalls. Yeah, I'll get the tune out of the way and get it completely done in one day, but some cars do take a while to actually get dialed in if they're really far off on the base maps. But on the other hand, with Honda, you can tune at your own pace. So I can make a customer a base map, email it to them, they flash it, do some data logs for me, email them back whenever they get a free chance. I'll make a revision whenever I get the time, which is usually within a couple hours of getting the data logs. And then I can kind of take my time with the tune and really be extremely thorough. And yeah, the tune might take a, it might take a full week to get the tune done. It might take up to, you know, 12, 15 revisions sometimes on some cars, but I'm going to be able to get a lot better tune if you're using Honda. So for tunability, I would definitely give it to Honda. They definitely take the crown on that. K tuner is extremely inconvenient and typically Honda has more settings that you can change. I consider that the most important part being a tuner. Um, if you're, if you're someone who really, really needs that tablet, go with a K tuner. But to be honest, if you're buying it new, all the new Honda flash pros and everything come with Bluetooth. So you can connect to your phone and get the same effect by just putting your phone on a vent mount or something like that. So, um, I would say overall, Honda all the way, definitely better than K-Tuner. The only thing I would really give it to K-Tuner on is that tablet. So like I said, if you really need that, go K-Tuner. But other than that, go for Honda. Um, I do e-tunes and remote tunes whenever, just hit me up. Um, you can either go to my Instagram and then you can click on my link in the bio and then you can see all of my tuning options through my website. So. I'll put my link tree here. You can follow all my social media. DM me if you have any questions, and then I can get you worked out properly. We can get a good tune on there. Something safe that way you're not running on one of those garbage base maps. And get a lot more power, and it's going to be a lot safer too. So um, hit me up if you guys have any questions. Also drop them in the comments too. I try to respond to as many comments as possible. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, and hope you guys have a great day.